Hey guys, even here and in this video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates and we are starting as you can see with Rubiel Mosquera aka Nexila and his physique updated 5 weeks out of the Arnold Classic which he's probably not doing but 7 weeks out of the Arnold UK which he's doing and uh, here in the caption I highlighted the caption because it's interesting he's probably talking about a certain bodybuilder who spoke some smack about uh, Nexilla. So basically he says, we continue to be focused since there is somebody who doesn't like me. And who is he referring to? Well, obviously he's referring to Michal Krizio, because recently that Q&A video of Krizio where he speaks about Nexilla and says that he doesn't like his physique, that he's just hype, that I made the reaction video about like two months ago. For some reason that video is circling around the internet right now and uh, I guess Nexilla saw it as well. So, I guess, as a response to Krizio, Nexilla posted this posing video at 7 weeks out of the Arnold UK, he says that he is focused, and let's check out his physique right now. So, first we got a front double bicep, and I would say this is probably his worst pose, and it's not because, like, he doesn't have good arms or biceps, his arms are big, his arms are not small, but in this pose they don't look very good, also the wee taper doesn't look very good, the legs kind of look out of proportion, and, you know, I see what Krizio is saying in this pose, but I think it's mainly because of the way he's hitting this pose, he's hitting it like a fighter, or like a 10 year old if you told him to flex his biceps. I think this pose can be tweaked and it can be made much much better, I don't know why Chris Cormier hasn't showed him yet, like he could definitely do something different with his legs or with his arms, maybe he can tilt in one side more, I think he should push his elbows a little bit more forward, I think there is definitely things he can do with this pose to make it better, but as it is right now, it's not looking very good, and his physique overall, it's not as shredded as it was back on stage at Prague, of course, but it's not bigger and fuller, I think he's actually a lot flatter, and his body fat percent, it doesn't look that much, that much worse, like it's pretty close to what it was back on stage, he just looks kind of smaller and flatter, but I believe he's gonna get to his own by the time Arnold UK comes, now in the front, a lat spread, much better, much different, like you can see how big his arms are right now, right here, and this pose, you shouldn't do anything with your legs, your legs should be straight, so he's hitting this pose well, I mean, the only pose that he doesn't know how to hit is front double, if you ask me, uh, but in this one, you can also see the same thing, like, flatter than he was when he competed, he has less fullness and 3D, but conditioning-wise, he's not that far off, in 7 weeks, he's going to be as conditioned as he needs to be, and hopefully fuller and rounder and, like, more 3D, the way he was at Prague Pro, in the side poses, he looks good, I mean, his best poses are probably his uh, side poses, his side chest and his side tricep, here in the side chest, like, again, conditioning good, for 7 weeks out, it's amazing, but, again, I would like to see more bubbliness, more roundness, more fullness, the way he looked at the Prague Pro, now, in the side tricep, which is definitely his best pose, his midsection looks much tighter, actually, he is pulling that stomach in like really deep, like it's really flat, I don't think it was this flat on stage, I'm sure it wasn't, why is this? Well, I guess it's probably the same reason why he lost his fullness, he was probably off for a while, and while he was off, he probably wasn't eating enough food, so without too much food in his stomach, his midsection got tighter, you know, flatter, but as, as he gets fuller, as he gets rounder and bigger, I think this is gonna reward, this is gonna go back to where it was, but right now his side tricep looks really aesthetic, but I prefer it with more size, more fullness. So to sum it all up, his conditioning for 7 weeks out is actually very very good, what he needs to work on is fullness, again, fullness, hardness, 3D, which I'm sure he is going to obtain in, in 7 weeks, and then at the Arnold Classic UK, again, Samson and Hardy and James Hollingshead, Wow, it's gonna be it's gonna be a really interesting comparison. I mean, if he is 100% on the way he was at Prague Pro, because I don't think he's gonna improve that much. He wasn't focused on improving. He was focused on relaxing and having some fun in between these two shows. So I think he's gonna look the same best case scenario. And if he does that, if he looks the same, or let's say he brings a little bit tighter conditioning, which I don't know. I mean, he was really on at that show. But let's say he comes in a little bit better than the Prague Pro, 
against Hardy, against Samson, I don't think he can beat those two guys. So, best case scenario for Nexilla, third. If you guys disagree, tell me down below. Alright, next up, we got a physique update from James Hollingshead, and this time around, finally, he took a photo after training with a pump. I don't like the background, the background is horrible, it's almost the same color as his skin. I mean, James is naturally really, really pale, and if he was in his natural tan right here, he would be visible very nicely, but he started tanning for this show really early, and he's using certain products to speed up this process, and it kind of gives you a certain color. It doesn't look as natural as if you were just tanning without it, but it is what it is. This is the, 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 the tan that he has right now, and this is the background, and we can see his physique, like I said, finally after a uh, training with a pump so somebody says in the caption uh, in the comments actually as you can see those irons didn't look like that which is completely true they didn't look anything like this in his previous physique updates but yeah i guess he got a pump so he says here it's because i only usually post fasted shots these are after the training it makes a huge difference and in his case it most certainly does like, big time, I mean, those fasted shots that he was posting, he looked like he lost who knows how much muscle. But as you can see in this physique update, he doesn't really seem like that anymore. Because he got a pump, and I guess, I assume, he had a refit day, or two days, before this shot, because he definitely does look much, much fuller, and with the pump as well, he also looks dry, he doesn't look like he's spilled because of that cheat meal or whatever he's doing for his refeeds. I'm pretty sure he's doing five guys, he said it. So, he looks much fuller, much better in this shot. And after seeing these shots, I think it is possible for James to crack that top three. It's not very likely, but it is possible. It seems more possible than before. So far, I had him in my top five. The other two guys, aside from Samson and Hadi, in my top five are Raphael and the horse MD, but now looking at James, he might beat them, I don't know about Raphael, I'm not so sure, I think Raphael is gonna probably beat James, but you know, James right here looks really big, really hard, I mean the conditioning is like much better than Raphael's, I don't know if they're gonna match with conditioning, or James is gonna be just like next level shredded, I don't know, because right now he's much ahead of Raphael, but like the fullness in the arms right here, in the chest, he does look very good. What I don't like about his physique are his lats, you know, they are not really super wide, he's kind of narrow in the shoulders, and those lats are not really popping that much, so they are not really creating an illusion of a small waist. But I mean, the guy is freaking massive, and if he brings good conditioning, it's gonna be really hard to ignore him, to deny him, if he has this much muscle with good conditioning, he's probably gonna do well. Now, his back could be a problematic area, it's usually really big, but like I said, the lats are not really super wide, right, and they are not really low inserted, so his back can be a problematic area, again, it's massive, but it's never really super detailed, separated, and like the widest, the best uh, tapered, but maybe this time around it's gonna be a different story if he brings really good conditioning. We got a physique update of his back as well, and we can see it right here, and I'm assuming this is a morning shot. Because again, he looks much flatter here, but we can see the back, we can see like the conditioning, the glutes, the hamstrings, and the back. And for five weeks out, this is really good. This is awesome. I hope he's gonna continue chipping away and getting more shredded and more shredded. And if he brings his, like, best conditioning ever with a really good fullness, then James can, like, surprise people. Another reason why I'm so excited about this Harlem Classic 2024. Alright, next we got Nick Walker with a couple of physique updates. We got this uh, mirror selfie, but we also got the bodybuilding poses. And here in this one, I wanted to start with this one uh, because it's kind of interesting to me how much Nick actually wants his physique to look aesthetic. I mean, he is definitely not an aesthetic bodybuilder, like, he's definitely the freakiest bodybuilder, one of the freakiest of all time, with a huge waist as well. But he can find the angles like this, and he can make his physique look pretty aesthetic, right? 
And I like that because it seems like he likes his physique to look aesthetic, so he's trying to make his waist look as small as possible. And like on stage, you will never see his uh, gut hanging, like his stomach is always tight. And that's because he cares about it. Like he's not like, I don't know, for example, Ronnie Coleman was back in the day with his uh, gut hanging out like crazy or late or with other guys like, I don't know, even Phil Heath and so many others. And it's not like bodybuilders today have smaller guts. I'm pretty sure if Nick tried, he would have a bigger gut than Ronnie Coleman did back in the day. But he really cares about keeping it tight. You will never see him on stage relaxed with his gut hanging out. And he has a gut, he has a huge bubble gut, but he's controlling it always, which I believe is awesome. And I guess you could say he doesn't have a bubble gut because you never see it. I mean, there are instances where you can see it. Like, there was a couple of times in these physique shots, like this one in the rear window over there in the left corner, you can see sometimes a reflection when he's doing back poses. You can see how big his gut actually is. But, you know, on stage, you won't ever see that. So we got a couple of these actual bodybuilding poses. And in this physique update, you can see that, you know, he looks, he looks very good. Like, his conditioning is still good. Like, is it good for five weeks out? Yeah, sure. Like, it's not much worse than many of the guys who are competing at the Arnold Classic. And like uh, Flex Lewis says here, you still have time to shave up and put on a tan, bro. Like, he can still do the Arnold Classic. I mean, Flex is obviously joking. Like, Nick is not gonna do the show, but he still can. I mean, there are a lot of comments in the comment section here suggesting that he could do uh, the Arnold Classic if he wanted to, and I agree with that, he definitely could, but, you know, he doesn't want to. In the caption, he says, a little morning update, lost track of the weeks, over three months post-Olympia, progression is being made, work is being done, hamstring is getting better, which I'm really happy about, not pushing it too hard, but intensity is increasing weekly. So, yeah, his hamstring seems to be improving, I'm really glad about that, he is able to train legs, and uh, again, like, as far as conditioning, you can see it from behind, you can see everything, he's here in the posing trunks still, you can see the hamstrings and the glutes, like, sure, he could do the Arnold Classic if he wanted to, like, if you talk about his conditioning, his conditioning is good for five weeks out. He doesn't want to do it, unfortunately, it is what it is, but in these shots, it seems like he is improving, and he is maintaining like a really good shape. Now these shots are also morning shots. And Nick actually does look very good in the morning. But he looks much better in the evening with the pump and after a couple of meals and some water. But still in the morning he does look damn good because he is that freaking massive. Even if he does get flat overnight, it doesn't really matter that much because he's that big. He can get away with being flat. It's pretty much impossible to notice that he is flat. And here, this shot is morning shot. Can you believe it? I mean, this guy is such a freak. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't get to see him at the Arnold Classic, but hopefully later in the year, in some of the regular season shows, or most likely with a special invite at the Mr. Olympia. However, we do get to see this guy at the Arnold Classic, Hari Japan who just looks insane right now, like, what the hell is going on here? What is happening with Hari's physique? He looks incredible in these recent physique updates, and he's posting a lot of stuff lately, like, maybe a little bit too much, maybe he should post less content, <laughs> I'm just joking, I'm joking, like, he was criticized heavily for not being active on social media, and now he's posting a lot of stuff, and I love it, it really seems like he's driven like crazy, like he's trying to prove something. I don't think there is anything for him to prove, like unless it is beating uh, Derek, Derek Lansford at the Mr. Olympia and, you know, defeating him. Yeah, but at the Arnold Classic, I don't think he has anything to prove, but he's acting like he wants to like really leave a mark, to like really look like an absolute freak, which I think he will. And, you know, after seeing all these shots... You know, it's really crazy to believe that Samson can beat him. I mean, I still think it's possible somehow, but it's really hard to explain why and how. Because this is just looking out of this world. Hari right now looks out of this world, man. This is just ridiculous, man. Like, this conditioning with his fullness, with his hardness, with his roundness. Like, wow. 
wow, this is not something you see very often. Like, this is really, really crazy. But whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys are watching this channel and you're not subscribed yet, please just click that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. I'm trying to reach 50k subscribers. So thank you guys so much. Like this video if you enjoyed it. See you soon in one of the next videos. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.